So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at how you can add some items to an array in JavaScript. And there are a few different methods that you can use depending on where you want to put the new items in the array. And we're going to go through each one of those. So you're probably familiar already with the array.push function. And what the push function allows you to do is actually add another item onto the end of the array. So you can see here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we want to put seven onto the end of it, we just push seven onto the array. And then the value that's stored in this array variable uh, will actually then have that uh, item on the end as well. But what about if you want to push an item onto the front of the array before the first item here? Well, we can use a different function to do that. We can use the unshift function. And it's a bit of an unusual name, but essentially what it allows you to do is to do the same thing as push, but to actually push it to the front of the array. As you can see, the seven is now at the start of our array here. So finally, what if you want to put an item into the middle of the array somewhere? Well, as long as you know whereabouts you want to put it, the index position of where you want to put the item, then you can use the splice function. So if we say splice, and then we need to first of all provide the splice function, the position, the index number where you want to put it. So if we wanted it to be the second item in the array, we would give uh, the index value of one as uh, an array will be zero indexed. And then the second argument that we pass into the splice function is actually how many items you want to remove from the array. Well, in this case, we don't want to remove any items, so we're going to put zero. And then the final argument is the number that you want to replace or the items that you want to replace uh, at that particular index position. And you can actually put multiple items in there as well. So if we change that to 99 and 88, for example, you can see that at position one, which is the second position in the array, you can see those two values have then been added using the splice function. So there you go, there's a few different ways that you can add items to an array in JavaScript. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.